are you promoting vegetarianism? Absolutely not, because everything you see on the screen is what vegetarians pay for. We're vegans. Oh, yeah. You're... Yeah. Vegetarianism is bullshit because every single thing that you're seeing is paid for by them. So vegetarians, they pay for the the shredding of male chicks in the egg industry. Why do they pay for it then? Because if you're buying eggs and dairy and stuff like that, that that is these industries that you're seeing. This is the egg industry. What about organic then? Organic is just another label they put on the product to make you think that it's ethical. It doesn't. What does organic mean? I guess you're going to tell me, aren't you? Well, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a load of bullshit. It just, if, if something says this is organic beef, people think, oh, that's ethical. Same, the same stuff still happens. A cow ends up in a slaughterhouse with a knife in her throat. Why, what, you know, it, I think it just means they're fed like or, organic grain or something like that. It doesn't really mean anything. Uh, I think it's a good cause you guys are Thank uh, you. I think what you're kind of probably doing is not discourage meat eating altogether, but just like a more sustainable way, right? No, we are discour we are compl we're an abolitionist group, so we are completely discouraging the use of all animal products. So, so vegans, basically. Yes, yes, we're vegan, and, we're and the reason we do that is because we would never apply um, the logic you just mentioned to any human injustice. We would never say, you know, about human slavery. Okay, let's do this in a nicer way. We would just say end it. We would never say about child sex trafficking. Let's just try and change the conditions. We would just say end it. So when it comes to the evil abuses that we inflict upon animals, you know, that's also what we say. We, we, we say that this should just end. Would you agree with that? Or do you think there is a nicer way that we can do this? You know, I, I, I think from a various standpoints, it's good that we also reduce at least our meat consumption as ecological, ecological footprints, you know, because all, yeah. all the sort of like the land that's required to feed these animals, the well-being of these animals by itself, and also the pollution, because they create a lot of methane gases which pollutes the earth. Yeah. So, and for our own bodies, because the vast amount of meat consumption, actually, I think studies now show that there's a positive correlation between cancer and that sort of stuff. Yes, so absolutely. From all those perspectives, I think it's good to reduce it. To yeah. completely abolish it, maybe that's an ideal spot that we eventually would like to get to, but it's quite an advanced, quite a big change, an extreme mm. position for where we are now. So mm. by all means, I mean, if, even, I guess, if we can make a couple of steps in that direction, that's, that's progress, yeah. right? But would it be an extreme step for you personally to just, in, when you go into the supermarket, instead of buying the cow milk, you buy the... Oh, I'm already like that. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was actually vegan for a while. It was, it was a bit tough, so now I'm yeah. sort of like... I would like to call mm. myself a flexitarian. Yeah. So I definitely watch my meat intake, but I do eat, eat definitely still some of it. But why, why do you say that it was tough for you to be vegan? Well, it's also because the, the cooking, you know, you need a lot of ingredients, you need mm. to shop, you need to plan, it's, mm. it's, it's, and I need to eat but, a lot. I work <laughs> out. And is that free range? Yes. So after the chickens lay a profitable amount of eggs, they'll be sent off to the slaughterhouse. And they're shackled upside down, they go along a rotating uh, uh, a conveyor belt, and their throats are being cut one by one with a rotating blade. Yeah. yeah. You're getting me here. Yeah. So, yeah. What's your view on. I mean, obviously, a lot of we've come out of the uh, Europe, and now we're not um, renegotiating a lot of like food standards and a lot of like farming standards. What's your view on, on that? Well, my view is that there's no ethical way to do it. So as you saw there, that calf that was begging for their life, and that could be free range, organic, whatever it is. So, you know, we're showing all animals want to live. So it doesn't matter whether we're in the EU or not, or what the conditions are. Ultimately, all these thing, horrific things, all these horrific abuses are gonna happen. What we're saying is there's no right way to do the wrong thing. But what do you both think of that term, humane slaughter? Does that make sense? Not really, but, but I do think that there is a thing about it. There will be, for a time, a kind of massive overpopulation of things like um, cows or chickens or things like that. And, and mm -hmm. what would be the, the kind of the, like, I guess I'd say it's a sort of policy. I think it's, it's got legs as a policy, but what would be kind of like the, what that look like in real life? Well, it's actually sort of the opposite. So there currently is a massive overpopulation of animals. So 55 billion land animals are slaughtered every year in these industries, 55 billion. And there's more sheep in Wales than there are humans. There's more chickens in England than there are humans as well. Um, so we're already massively overpopulated with these animals, but the more people go vegan, the more the demand for their breeding goes down. So as more vegan, as- Gradually. Exactly. So as the number of vegans goes up, the number of farmed animals actually goes down. What about, like, because I lived in South Sudan, for a couple of years and their whole culture is based on cattle raising cattle their way of survival is cattle like they're not you know they're mass flooding often they can't sustain vegetable like growth in their where's well, this in south sudan 
Sudan. Oh, South Sudan, yeah. So what would you, what's your opinion then on their whole cattle? I mean, they love their cattle. They make what, people have yeah. their cattle. But well, what, what, what were they feeding those cows? Oh, I wish I knew more of what their food. I think they were often roaming in the, I don't know, like the, <laughs> the grass, yeah. but maybe not even that. Sometimes they're skinny. Animals, yeah. Not like have the same cows here. So yeah. here's the thing. I would say in most circumstances worldwide, people can be vegan. However, there might be some isolated areas worldwide where like there's no vegetation, like certain parts of the Arctic forever, where it might not be possible. But that's why we're not in those areas doing this demo right now. We're here speaking yeah, to you guys because we can all easily be vegan. It's like we shouldn't even be considering those other areas. No, we should just be thinking, what what can I do in my daily actions when I go into Sainsbury's or Tesco today? Will I fund this abuse and this? Career so watch this what happens to the male chicks they're being shredded because they don't yeah yeah that's because they don't lay eggs so that's free-range eggs These videos are good, let's yeah go. yeah well can I give you a card and it can help you change yeah yeah thank you uh, so those are male chicks so they're being shredded alive because they don't lay eggs yeah so that's free-range eggs organic whatever it is um, why so are they hatching so they didn't get to that stage because at a hatchery is where all the chicks oh, right, are hatched okay, for yeah, the egg okay. industry and they send them, the females off to the farm. And they grow them for, for like meat? Because the males don't grow fast enough to be profitable for meat. You've got to feed them too much and that costs right. too much money. So they just so kill the them. females grow quick? Yes. The okay. females are bred to go extremely quick. I'm a livestock farmer and oh, this okay. is rubbish. Why is that rubbish? Yeah. Because you're not showing it as it is. Well, what? We treat our livestock far better than anybody humans are treated anywhere in the world. By sending them to the slaughterhouse? No, they're treated. I mean, that's how we get meat. That's how we get meat. I know, but we don't have to eat meat, do we, guys? Yes, we do. Oh, right. okay, Why do we need to? Eat well, meat, it's, but yeah. it's a personal choice. I, mm -hmm. you know, we eat meat. Yeah. I yes. enjoy eating meat. And we're yes. So did I for 23 years. Yeah, well, you've gone backwards ever since, aren't you? Right, backwards? Anyway, let's go yeah. grab some lump. And you know, the, the key thing to remember here, if you ever think that it's hard for you to be vegan, just think how hard it is for the animals that you're not vegan. That's what we, we've always got to bear that in mind. We've always got to bear the victims in mind because they're the ones who are having it hard, not us. That's true, but I think there's also sort of like a gentleman just came over here, he said this is rubbish and you know, we treat our animals very well. Oh, yeah. Maybe there's also like a distinction that uh, you guys could make between the ones that are at least a little bit more conscious about the well-being of the animals, despite mm -hmm. the fact that they're still eating, and the ones that do these atrocious things which are these meat farms, mm -hmm. particularly in the US as well, is going on, right? Absolutely. Well, we make a distinction, but only in the same way that we would make a distinction between someone who maybe goes and kills one human compared to someone who's a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, okay, they're both, we know that one is better than the other, but it's still not something we would accept, right? If we, if we wouldn't accept it for a human, we wouldn't accept it for an animal, because animals, they deserve to, to be left alone and, and treated justly as well. We don't want to make it so that humans are put above this massive pedestal, but animals are just seen as these resources where it's like, okay, maybe we can abuse them, but make sure that it's sometimes, or maybe do it less. You know, we, we would say every single animal is is a person, is an individual. They have a personality, they have thoughts, feelings, a heartbeat, and they don't deserve to be murdered, abused, or oppressed any more than any human does. No, no, I think, I think you're probably right, but it's sort of in human nature to sort of domesticate animals, right? That's yes. We use, we use yeah. them to our, to our benefit. And, you know, yeah. Look around. But that's wrong, right? No, I don't think it's right either. <laughs> I, think, I think in general we're far too, uh, too, too present in this sort of earth. You know? Yes. Everywhere, and we don't leave any uh, animals any space to like sort of like evolve themselves. So, yeah. I mean, that, that's yeah. a good point as well. Reducing meat consumption, I think, will be, will be, will be great sort of for oh, on a whole oh, host of okay. fronts. So I, th I think eradicating it altogether, mm. sure, we can strive towards, but I think yeah. it's, it's a big step. Of course, but here's the thing. Um, if you ask people to eliminate stuff, if you, if you demand abolition, people will naturally reduce anyway. So it would be strange to us uh, to settle for reduction when we could just say, look, abolish this, and some people will, from our message, reduce anyway, but you'll actually get people as well who, like, like we all did, just cut it out altogether. So. You know, I'll be, I'll be interested to see which, uh, which approach would be more efficient. Sort of like the, saying, like, we're striving towards abolition and people mm. settle themselves for, like, doing it flexitarian. Or say, like, yeah. guys, if you could just cut out meat, like, half a week, you know, just maybe three mm. times a week. 
let people become more conscious, more aware of the fact that they can mm. make great meals, nutritious, yeah. healthy, so they get mixed in full without constantly yeah. having to have meat included. The thing is, you know, cheese. yeah, there's already groups doing that. That's the thing. Even like the environmental groups will say, you know, there's things like meatless Mondays and stuff like that. So someone has to stand up fully for the animal rights and say, just cut this out altogether, guys. Yeah. And look, yeah, I know it'll be a, slong, a low and uh, a long, sorry, and gradual process. Like you said, it's a big step from where we are now, a vegan world, but every single injustice in history started out that way. If you oh, think of the slave trade, you know, for hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of years, actually, the human slave trade going on, and a small group of people said, no, this is not okay, and everyone laughed at them. And then one day, you know, absolutely. it was abolished. So, oh, no, absolutely, you're totally right. Yes. Let's face it, you know, we're all very like, compassionate with um, the cats and dogs, so we have our heart the right place, but we just frankly don't know what's going on. Tonight. Yeah. So yeah, so we're here to expose that. Well, if, if I, really good. there's documentaries you can watch, there's resources to, that can help you, because you've both seen compassionate people, it doesn't make sense that you would fund this horrific abuse anymore, and I think you can both change. But you've got that with the clothes industry as well, haven't you? You have, that's why we're vegan, we don't wear any um, animal products at all, because the same stuff happens to the animals for clothing. No, but also, like, the slavery with the children, isn't there? Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, yeah, like this way, yeah, obviously you can, you can do that as well, you can buy, like, second-hand clothes and yeah, stuff like that, yeah. you can, there's plenty of things you can do to be more ethical, but this is the main, this is the largest act of suffering on the planet. Nothing even comes close. 2.7 trillion animals massacred worldwide. That's sea animals and land animals combined in this. All right. All right. Thanks, guys.